How's it going everyone? It's Arsene Rao back with an all new video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use basic shape shapes to create some sort of electric, electric effects. So I just messed it up. So. Um, we're going to be using basic shapes and lines to use this and we're going to be using some few inbuilt effects inside of After Effects. And it's going to be very easy. Make sure that you like and subscribe with that getting set. Let's get started. So the, I'm inside of After Effects. It's CC 2017. There are a few things if you're using 18, but I'm using 17. It's not that big, but it's very easy. Make it 8 bits per channel and let's create a new composition. I'm going to be typing it like render this and 29.97 drop, frame, drop frames is just 30 fps something like that you can even increase to 60 if you want could give it like 8 seconds so maybe I just take it down to 5 seconds and let's click ok black is pretty much good so we have our composition here so what you can do is you can even use these shapes if you want make sure if you're using these shapes make sure that is fill you want fill to be enabled if you're using these shapes and stroke to be disabled but for sake of this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can use strokes and few lines to create some awesome effects so just delete this you can follow along with that too uh, it's all same just create a new shape layer i'm going to be disabling the fill and enabling the stroke and maybe take it to 10 8. and let's make something like this uh, i'm going to be starting up from here i'm going to be ending it out there so we have it and it automatically generates the stroke that we need we're going to be working on this line to make it pretty good so we have our shape layer i'm going to be duplicating this two times one and two or maybe just one more time make it four times and i'm going to be hiding these three for now and i'm going to be working over to this only and let's go effect and presets and type in turbulent displace we we're going to be using turbulent displace for this and apply this to layer 4 so we have something like uh this bulgy effect and yes that's what we need let's increase the opacity around to, uh, in complexity around to 5 so that we can get that sort of electricity defying effect <laughs> you don't worry and let's increase the amount of turbulence that we're gonna give to this layer and also make sure that anti-aliasing is for best quality make it high and what we get is a line which is just standing still and doing nothing but we need to animate it now you need not to use any rotor tool just hover over to evolution and we're having something like cycle evolution you can even use cycle evolutions in what frames you want to cycle it around if you use 30 it's like 30 evolutions per cycle but I'm not going to be using that cycle evolution instead i'm going to be clicking alt hold alt and click over to the stopwatch for evolution and type in time multiplied by 500 yes so what we get is something like this you know it's, it's pretty much awesome now to tell you guys you're going to use you're going to be using again and again the ram preview make sure that you use ram preview to see what speed that you get so this is speed isn't that good, but I'm going to be increasing it. Maybe just again take it time multiplied by 600, and let's see what we get is. Okay, so we are getting pretty much good speed that I want. Okay, so let's head over to layer three, enable it. Make sure that the layer four is enabled. Uh, you can take down the opacity because if you want to see it, but but still I'm going to be keeping it enabled so that I can see things are working around with them. Another type of turbulent displace. Instead of turbulent, make it twist. Now, twist is uh, something different from turbulent. Turbulent goes way really like that, and twist goes something like round, round, round. So just increase the amount of twist, maybe 80. Increase the, uh, just to increase the size, and increase the complexity. You can see we are getting some different results. Just you take down, take up the opacity to five. We can get that smooth effect. So there we have it. Initializing very high evolution time multiplied by 550 I'm going to be making it a bit slower than the previous one so what we have here is something going around you can see that electricity sort of effect now another layer enable it and I'm going to be using the same turbulent I don't know why I did that turbulent displays and this time it is going to be like turbulent smoother I want it to be pretty much something like working in background so it's going to be something like that I'm going to be increasing the turbulence amount to 200 maybe 220, 220, 220, 220, 220 it doesn't matter 
and let's increase the complexity to maybe just maybe just three not way too much we doesn't maybe just two maybe just two i don't want it to be get separated like those and let's make the NTLA as in quality high evolution time multiplied by 600 if i want it to move according to the previous one let's improve the final layer and go on and click on turbulent displays and let's keep it bulge a uh, bulge bulge does look good but it won't be working background so just increase the size and we're going to keep it to 90 and let's increase the complexity complexity to way up to five percent or maybe just four uh, those are people going around so those voices and again alt click time multiplied by 550 so we're having every shape layer moving in different time and in different ways and different things so what we need to do is maybe just uh, you can use the rough on edges type in rough or ugh rough on edges and let's take this rough on edges and apply it over that so here's the first shape layer just copy this rough on edges maybe roughen and take it spiky and there we have it maybe just increase the complexity to three or just three two 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 point five okay tap and tap at alt click on evolution time multiplied by 500 something like that just copy the rough and edges and the next thing you want to do is to head over to shape 2 paste it shape 3 paste it save 4 paste it so you can see everything gets destroyed what you need to do more is to decrease the border maybe just take it 1 go to shape 3 to make it 0 0.10 you need to adjust the things around I'm gonna be keeping it like a bit bit way too much up there and something like that okay now for the upper layer I'm gonna be taking down the complexity to 1 and these two layer are gonna be at complexity 1 complexity 1 so what we have here is something like pretty much being animated out of it so it won't look like something like that but just pre-compose these all hold control shift C or you can right click select them pre-compose type in electricity or ICIT or electricity and let's make a tint and color correction tint and let's change white to something like cyan and something like that another time to type in glow and maybe I'm not taking it too long just type in glow and decrease the threshold to around 40, 40 and increase the radius something like 50 or something and let's increase the glow intensity to 3 okay once that done let's see what we get let's see we're getting that very complex electricity sort of effect it looks pretty dope if you see something like coming around from here and going way down there now I want it to be like here something like this and going way through down there so what you can do is simply just move it and increase it from that corner maybe just something like that and now it should be pretty much perfect so I'm having having that pretty much done and pretty much good uh, it should be now what you can do more is like the electricity passing from one place to other how you can do it you need to work around these I'm gonna be showing you over to one how to do that and rest is gonna be speed of light <laughs> so just take them down or I'm gonna be focusing over to one just take a fit let's go down and click on add you can see that small sign add and type in trim paths once you've done that head over to the very start of your frame and let's go to trim paths increase it so we're having these offsets so what you can see this is going around like that click over to make sure it's very zero and start it with your end create create frame and maybe move around like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten maybe just seventh eight six fifth frame and take it down to 100 100 yes so we have it like 100 being animated and I want it to be f f fading out the here so just make another keyframe you can click on that diamond icon right around there another keyframe we want it to be 100 right here another one and maybe just shake it down like that I'm going to be moving it around and the other one keyframe would be and we need not to animate our end maybe just delete it so we have our end being animated up to way too much we're deleting this keyframe too maybe I just I don't know why I created that and here comes the start part so just click over to the start 
and let's make it 100% and way down and make it 100% so what you have here is simply something coming from one direction you can see something coming from one direction and then moving out and fading out over the other direction so if you do this to all the layers I'm just coming back in a second I'm back <laughs> I literally did nothing quick tip hold and copy these four keyframes very very easy copy this add over to the second layer type in uh, what I did trim paths go down trim paths and here over to the starts and ends paste them so you have your start and ends automatically animated the same way that the other one is another one type in trim paths go down paste oh shit paste oh, I don't know what am I doing another one add uh, trim paths open it up and control V paste let's see the final result this is gonna be really awesome so swoosh wow it's looking pretty dope it should like something coming from way up there and at the end of it should be ending up like there well why it's not ending because the all the way time is to five seconds so if you increase it it's gonna go up to five seconds but what more you can do in this what more final tip final thing just duplicate it and right down there type in GAU or take the Gaussian blur and blur this out repeat edge pixels make sure that you repeat edge pixels and it's horizontal and vertical and blur this thing out way too much or maybe just 50 something like that so you can get that shine into it and that sort of blurriness and maybe just take down the opacity to 50 and make sure that these all are in motion blur and enable the motion blur so that would be it for today we're having our electricity using basic shapes being animated and really really awesome so this template is also given down below in the description completely made like this you can use it for your own purpose whatever you want it or wherever you want to use it it's all up to you i hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video create something awesome it's sourcing robots from frosty tech also follow me on instagram it's something like underscore hey for more awesome things and things coming up well that would be it for today it's sourcing robots from frosty tech signing out